But we have to look at things pragmatically. We have to look at the data. We have to look at what is actually transpiring and not just throwing out hopium and throwing out false uh, narratives that Bitcoin's going to go up forever. Right now, as it stands, we are below the 20-week moving average, which is bull, which is bearish. So this is Market Cipher on the monthly chart. And these are the previous bull runs you can see here. Um, each time on Market Cipher, the momentum oscillators peak. You can see that that's when the bear market started. Uh, back in 2017, 2018, you can see the market peaked up here at tw just approximately 20,000. And we get the red dot on the monthly, and then it comes down, right? You see that? And that's the start of the bear market. We do have a, a red dot here. Uh, on top of that, the data that we have, we do have a monthly candle that is red right now, right? We have a 15 on the DBSI for a monthly candle. That's very strong. That's a pretty good indication that things are going to get bearish for a little while. And I don't think this is going to be a, you know, a two or three year bear market. However, I do think that we are in for a few months of consolidation or a few months of bearish action. I mean, just look at the data here. So what I really wanted to show you, though, is the fact that when you're looking at market cipher, you want to look at the momentum oscillators and you want to obviously look for different signs of bearish action and bullish action, right? So you can see down here, you know, we get a green dot, that's bullish, right? You have a couple of green dots here, that's bullish. We get a green dot back here in, 20, in July 2015, as well as October 2015, that's bullish. You can see the kicked off the bull mark. However, this is the bad news for Bitcoin. You can see that the price action, you can see the line that I've drawn here. I've drawn this line from, from December 2013 from the previous market cycle peak of the 2013 bull market, and I connected it to the peak of this bull market so far. And you can see that the price action, the, the price of Bitcoin is actually rising as the momentum oscillators are falling. That is a classic bearish divergence. And I just want to bring this to light because I don't think a lot of people are talking about this. This could be the sign of a longer term bear market in the grand scheme of things. You know, people talk about Bitcoin super cycles and all that. Well, what if there is a Bitcoin super bear cycle, a super bear market, right? Because look, and if you notice, each cycle has, you've seen a diminishing returns on each peak, meaning each peak has not gone as parabolic as the previous cycle. And you can see that with the momentum oscillators in market cipher B, they're getting smaller, which means that Bitcoin is losing strength, right? When we see bullet bearish divergences in, you know, even like on the one hour, the four hour charts, right? You, you typically want to either short that position or sell those positions because typically that means downside. So I'm not saying that this is for sure going to happen. Bitcoin's going to zero. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that we have some data here that is pointing to bearish action, right? This is a bearish signal, right? We have higher highs in price action and we have lower lows in the momentum oscillators. You can see we're thick in the green for the money wave. We are overbought. I mean, the RSIs are overbought. These are classic basic strategy market cipher signals that we're getting right now.